New day. This is day. I don't even know. But the goal today is to get that heat exchanger on. But I'm in a slight little problem here. So the heat exchanger is supposed to go somewhere like up here like this. I didn't get brackets from mine. They messaged me. They said they can send me brackets like ASAP. So I'm going to get the brackets sent to me. But my boy ran his on the bottom here. Just like this. As you can see, like you can see his pretty good and looks nice. But you got to get rid of your washer fluid. So I got to figure out what I want to do for if I want to actually delete my washer fluid because I don't I don't know I never really use it anyway but I mean I'm also not trying to get full race car status um, it's also not my daily I don't think it will be my daily at any time but I don't know I mean it's nice to have windshield fluid especially like the Ferelston and all that so but I know it looks cool down here on the bottom like it looks really nice so I gotta try to figure out a way maybe I can actually end up raising this up but I don't want to block my intercooler so I don't know. We'll see where we go with it. So with the ace, I got these little brackets here, little L shape, and then I put a little spacer. I had these spacers and bolts already, and so that's how I'm gonna run mine. Let me show you how I mocked it up. I'm gonna put it just like that down here. Put my bolt in there and uh, it should hold it pretty good. All right, so we got it mounted down. Um, these screws are a pain in the butt, but I just drilled it out. Found some random screws in, in the garage or in the toolbox and um, just gotta tighten her down. But she should hold right here. Looks pretty nice, I think. So now I'm cutting my lines for this. I have my diagram here. That's how it, that's how it all gets ran. So I'm about to wire that or hose that up and yeah, go from there. All right, so I'm out of my coolant thing up right here, put a little zip tie on her, tied it to this one. And then I ran my little, I ran my hose from the top of this. It looks like a turbo, it comes out the turbo end, comes all the way up to the bottom of this, and then it's gonna come from here to the supercharger. And then from the supercharger, back on down to this top one. So, not bad, man. All right, so when we went to the shop to go dyno it, um, we ended up having to switch this around. Uh, this little turbo end here so the turbo end goes actually towards the intercooler and then the other end goes right back up so we just swapped it around to get better flow it wasn't getting that much flow so that's how we did that hoses are ran she's pretty tight i don't really like this this is kind of like really crappy looking i gotta figure out what i want to do to get that looking better but um yeah so the hose top hose goes to the reservoir reservoir goes down to the heat pump the pump goes into the Heat exchanger comes back out the top, runs all the way back up to the lid. I think I got all my lines right, hopefully. You saw the diagram. Um, it said top goes the reservoir, bottom goes the heat exchanger, so it should line itself right up. It's hot today, boys. It's about 90 out here. We are sweating, but um, this is pretty cool, man. I, I, I'm, it doesn't look all that great like this. This kind of looks crappy, um, but you won't see these brackets, and uh, this is not coming off, I don't think so. Um, yeah, I'm uh, pretty excited, man. I'm also I'm getting a little, I think the excitement's starting to like, like, calm down and the nervousness is starting to like rise because we've, uh, I'm just afraid. I'm not rushing this. I'm not trying to go hard. I'm just making sure, I'm going to go back over everything, make sure everything's tight and everything's lined up, everything where it's supposed to go because I do not want anything crazy happen. But yeah, so next, I guess I'm going to do that with a wire harness. Now we're going to run this fuse here. So I already tested it out. To make sure um, all this works, the, I don't think you need a seven and a half in there, but it, it's already in there. But um, you're, so you're gonna want to find a fuse. So I took my test light here, and for the heat exchanger, you do not want for the heat exchanger. 
for the heat exchanger, you do not want like a headlight or something like that because you can just flip the switch, turn the headlights on, and your thing could turn on or something like that. You want to tie it to an accessory where, like your radio, you have to turn the key on for it to come on. So that's how what you want to find out. You want to get a nice ground. I got my ground here. And if you go around, so that lights up. So that tells me you don't need the key on. So we can't use that. If it doesn't light up like that, then we can use that because you have to have the key on for that to work. So what I found, I found this number 10 right here. I think this is, it already worked. It's just easy access down here. So you're going to pull, you pull this plug out here and you're going to put it into the other part of this uh, fuse, this tap fuse. And then I'm going to stick it right where that fuse was. It snaps right down into there. I'm going to take my wire here for the, the piece they gave me. I definitely need to clean this little wire nest up. It has my HIDs mixed in it. I don't want these HIDs really anymore anyway. I don't even have them in here. So I think, but I left them all my positive and negative. So I just have to pull these back off and take them out. But it just looks like junk. Well, boys, I um kind of wired my pump up the wrong way. Listen to this. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not good. So I guess I got to redo my fuse. So ended up putting it in F38 or F37, this one right here, HVAC ignition. So I just cut it on and it fired up. So I'm gonna get some cooling in her now and a list of things in it. Um, we're gonna start her up, boys. All right, boys, so I did a little bit of work without you all, but the intercooler is in, or I could just gotta bolt it down. But I just got my trans lines, hooked them up. That little clip, I put the clip back in there, snapped them in. Uh, lines connected, this hose is connected, big big hose is connected. I hope this is going to be all right. It should puff itself out. Uh, you come down here, I got this line connected, that line. It was way easier to put back in than it was to take out. Um, so now I'm about to put my throttle body on, just put the gasket on. And um, so if you look, I actually did do my core brackets here. I'm going to show you, let me see here. So I drill my holes, you gotta drill them three eighths above the actual one so you kind of want them like right in this area i was able to get three bolts in this one that fourth one i couldn't get but there's no way that that coil bracket's not going nowhere it's got it's tied down pretty good but the problem is i'm not clearing this fuel rail so because i i'm using the stock uh, valve covers i cheaped out i didn't get the lsa valve covers like i said i was so hopefully they can send me a 45 because this piece right here just to go on here and it's giving me a hard time so hopefully they give me a 45 where i can bend it out some and then we can uh go ahead and run the fuel back down there I finally cut this line and that should sum up this whole motor oh i keep saying it but we just gotta get that piece and uh, we'll be good to go throttle body's on i feel like that's all i've been saying like now i've just been kind of like putting stuff on but this is getting pretty, this looks almost like a full car now um, these little clips they just you just want to make sure they line up with the pin i'm trying to figure out this quarter intake right now this is kind of kicking my butt but i'm gonna show you how i did the wire harness too uh, once i get that all situated but yeah this is where we're at right now another update <laughs> here's a small little trick so like down here where there's uh transmission fluid where the transmission fluid is leaking if you get like a regular bolt and like just kind of shove it in there kind of stops it from going out um, so my pops told me a little trick. All right, guys. So that's it for the coolant. I just want to make a separate video on that and kind of add a little bit, like how I did the coil brackets and stuff. But next video is going to be some small things, like getting like little things figured out, like the E85 sensor and stuff like that. And then we'll be uh, there'll be our startup. So we've uh, we got a lot done. I appreciate everybody that's um, liked and subscribed. And it really means a lot. We got a lot going on right now with the build. So if you can follow me on IG at 1bad8, um, you can catch me on there. That's all I got, so I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.